Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are fine by the grace of Allah. Today I am here from Labi Banja District and I am here for class 5 English version students. So dear students, today I will be going through a chapter of your elementary science book and the chapter is chapter 7 Healthy Lifestyle. So students at first let's go through the chapter. So students now we are in chapter 7 healthy lifestyle so in this chapter you will be able to know about healthy lifestyles at first you will be able to know what, what are the infectious diseases and then what you will know what are the types of infectious diseases then you will be able to know how we can prevent and cure infectious diseases now second lesson is about poverty what is poverty and why it is necessary and what happens due to poverty now students let's go through the exercises part of this chapter so elementary science class 5 healthy lifestyle chapter 7 question answers so students at first we'll go through some tick marks number one by which typhoid germs can spread through a water b air c soil d insects so the answer will be a water second question which one is the carrier of malaria or dengue germs a dog b butterfly c mosquito d fly the answer will be C. Mosquito. Third question. Which one usually happens during puberty? A. Getting friendly with all. B. More keen to studies. C. Changing shape of body. D. Getting more diseases. The answer will be C. Changing shape of body. Now students, get, let's go through some short question answers. Number one. Give five ways of how to prevent infectious diseases. Answer. Five ways of how to prevent infectious diseases are. Num A. To cover the mouth with tissue or handkerchief during coughs and sneezes. B. To keep our surrounding clean. C. To always drink and use safe water. D. To get vaccinated on time. E. To take a balanced diet and avoid unhygienic food. Second question. What is airborne diseases? Answer. Airborne diseases are the diseases caused by germs transmitted through the air due to coughing, sneezing or talking. Third question. How can we cure the infectious diseases? Answer. We can cure the infectious diseases in the following ways. A. To drink anaphrase. B. To eat nutritious food. C. To drink sufficient safe water. D. To see a doctor if necessary. Fourth question. What are the causes of infectious diseases? Answer. The main causes of infectious diseases are A. Drinking contaminated water. B. Eating contaminated food. Now, the fifth question. What is a good way to manage your anxiety about changing body looks during poverty? Answer. When we feel anxious about how our body looks change during poverty, we must gather our courage and discuss the matter with our parents, elder brothers or sisters or with our teachers. Now students, let's go through some descriptive question answers. Number one. Explain how infectious diseases spread. Answer. Infectious diseases spread in the following ways. A. Through air. When an infected person coughs, sneezes or talks, germs get transmitted through the air. Thus, is, the diseases spread from person to person, for example, swine flu, measles, etc. B. Through water. Often germs contaminated water. If we drink or use this contaminated water, we get affected by these diseases, for example, diarrhea, dysentery, etc. C. Through contact. Infectious diseases can spread by direct or indirect contact with an infected person, for example, flu, Ebola, etc. D. By animals and insects. These diseases can spread by also by animals and insects, such as Rabies is transmitted through the bite of an infected dog. Again, malaria and dengue are caused by mosquito bites. Second question. What we can prevent dengue and malaria by removing object holding water like bowl, tire, etc. Why? Answer. We can prevent dengue or malaria by removing objects holding water like bowl, tire, etc. Mosquitoes are the carrier of dengue and malaria germs. They lay eggs in clear and still water. Generally, they lay eggs in the water confined in tub, tire and even consistent around our house. If we remove them, mosquitoes cannot lay eggs. As a result, their procreation will be stopped and the germs of dengue or malaria cannot spread. 
Third question, how are waterborne diseases and airborne diseases alike and different? Answer, the similarities between waterborne and airborne diseases are as follows. Both of the diseases are infectious. Both are caused by germs. A medium is needed for the spread of both of the diseases. The differences between waterborne and airborne diseases are as follows. Number one, the germs of waterborne diseases are transmitted through water. On the other hand, the germs of airborne diseases are transmitted through air. Second question. Waterborne diseases are diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, etc. On the other hand, airborne diseases are swine flu, chicken pox, tuberculosis, etc. Now our fourth question. We can prevent the spread of diseases by covering the face during coughs and sneezes with elbow. Why is elbow better than hands when you cover coughs and sneezes? Answer. The germs of infectious diseases spread in the air through coughs and sneezes. If the face is covered with tissue or handkerchief during coughs or sneezes, germs will not spread easily. People also can use their hands to cover their face. However, using elbow to cover face is better than using hands. If hands are used to cover face while coughing or sneezing, germs can spread from hands when we touch something afterward without washing hands. That is why it is better to use elbow than hands to cover the face during coughs or sneezes. So students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.